Hello, this is Keith Hall and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about a function, a DAX function within Power BI, and it's the count rows function. And basically what this does is the DAX function counts the number of rows in a table, regardless of any visual uh, any uh, visual uh, filters applied in your visualization or uh, an expression that returns a table. So in today's case, we're just gonna be counting the number of rows in a specific table. So how does this function work? Well, the count function, or the count rows function, iterates through each row in, that, in, in my case, the transaction data table, which is uh, the data over here on the right. And for each row, it checks to see if there are any blank values. And if there are no blank values, the row count is then incremented. So then after iterating through all the rows, the function returns the total count of rows in that specific table. So let's uh, go through this again. It counts the number of rows in a table and it ignores the blank values and then returns the total number of rows regardless of the filters applied. So we're gonna create a measure called total transactions and we're gonna use that at the count rows DAX function. And what you pass into it is just a table or the expression. So let's go over here and let's go over to the transaction data table and let's click up here in our ribbon for a new measure. And call this total transactions. It'll automatically pre-fill it out rows and then as you can see the argument is a table so it counts the number of rows in a table so I'm going to pass it to the transaction data table press enter so it created this expression in the transaction data data table so now let's insert a matrix let's go over here Do this. So let's go up here. Let's insert a matrix. Let's find it. So it's a pair of this one. Okay. And now let's add data or let's add this total transactions measure to this matrix. We're going to go over to the values field. There you go. And it, what it did was it went to the transaction data table. Let's go over here to the tables view. Let's go over to the transaction data table. And basically what it did was it iterated through each one of these rows and implemented it, it by one. As it does that, as long as there's no values, let's go back over here and it spits out the total number of transactions or total number of rows in that specific table. Hopefully this gave you a better idea of what count rows DAX function does. Remember to like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And I wanna thank you for stopping by today and you have a great day. Bye now.